Hello, my name is Dale Sherman with Clients First Business Solutions. This demonstration is going to cover Epicor 9 Business Activity Query Part 1. It's going to go over the database naming conventions for tables and columns. And it's also going to show you how to find out the name of these tables and columns for the data you're trying to extract. For many of you, this will go into much more technical detail than you'd ever hoped, but you will need it in the long run. And I've made this video very short so you can so it can be replayed multiple times to keep reviewing over this information. The business activity query, also known as the BAQ, queries the Epicor database and displays the data in the BAQ screen. It can also be exported to Excel. It can be displayed in an Epicor dashboard. And it can be printed on a crystal report. BAQs can also update the database, but that will be covered in a later video. Here's some examples of table names. Epicor has done a fairly good job of naming the tables in English that match the data that belongs in them. The name of the table for customer master is customer, for part is part master. For the purchase order header information table it's called PO header and so on. Now they've gone off the standard a little that the supplier master table is called vendor. The sales order header info table is called order head and so on. They've also done a good job on column names. And it's table name dot column name format. So the customer name and the customer table is called customer dot name. Part.iun is the inventory unit of measure for that part. PO header dot buyer ID is the buyer ID for this purchase order. The part number for that PO line item, the due date for that PO line item release. I'm going to leave this up a little so you can review it. So the next step is how the tables are related to each other. And that's called a join. In this case, we have an inner join which shows the customer table and the order head table. And the blue highlighted says, just give me the fields return the fields that the customers have placed orders. The left outer join is query return all customers whether they have placed orders or not. So let's say marketing wants a list of all customers that have ordered parts to send thank you letters. You would use the inner join. So give me all customers that have placed orders. Let's say marketing wants a list of all customers in the database to send new catalogs to hoping they'll buy something. You would use the outer join left. So to return all customers whether they've placed orders or not. I know this is confusing. It'll make sense later. I'm going to leave this up for a couple seconds also so you can review it. Let's go into the Epicor system and take a look at some of the tables. 
So I'm going to go into the data dictionary viewer. Since we were looking at the customer table, I'm, I know the, it's called customer, but I can do a search. 